<laughs> yeah. yeah, you use everything to track in the bush. Your knowledge, your eyes, your sense of smell. As much as you can, you just glean as much information. So as we were trying to track to see where our leopard went across the wall, we have, well, we did have two, two uh, males. I'm going to actually let you guys decide what it is. So, <clears throat> hashtag Safari Live, Facebook or YouTube, what antelope is this? That's better. So he um, <clears throat> he didn't go in the direction I thought he was going to go in because his friend walked off in the direction he's walking in now and he decided no, he's going to go around the back and feed some more. So it's taken him a little while to come out. Ah, Lara Mora coming back with Niala. Well done. And also saying the white spots look like tears. And they do. Um, oh, I thought he was going to start displaying then. I'm just absolutely amazed at how many Niala bull are around here. I, we actually found seven bulls together. That was just absolutely incredible. I've never seen that many bulls together. And I don't really think that that's the norm for them either. I'm just going to try and pull back a little bit more just so we can get one last glimpse of him because they are just so impressive. With that charcoal black and their stockings. <laughs> so you might be able to work them out as he comes into the open there. There he is. So he should come out from behind the bush there and into the open. You might just be able to see them if you didn't see them before. So wearing sort of a rusty orange yellow stocking. You can just about make it out. And there's those teardrops. Hi, Chitty Chatty Meg, asking if they smell like horses. <coughs> I no, they don't. I was actually lucky enough. We had a small herd of Niara that would come into camp where I did my research. Um, we were actually able to hand feed them, and they no, they didn't. They didn't really smell of anything, to be honest. Um, their tongue was very slimy <laughs> and a nice black colour, just like the giraffe. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I don't remember them really smelling. It was quite interesting. It took probably about six to eight months for them to become relaxed with us being there. But then they would pop around, see if there was any pellets. And we had a couple of youngsters born around the camp as well, which was lovely. We watched them grow up. And it takes the males, so the, when the males are first born, they do look like little females, the chestnut brown colour. But then they start developing the, the mane and the, the hair under the chin. Um, quite an early age, a couple of months or so, you see these little sprigs of hair. <laughs> Very short, but definitely a lot more fluffier than the females. And it takes them about two years to look like a proper male. So we also, we try and avoid driving over dung where possible, because 